when your AI gives you outdated code and you spend two hours debugging why it doesn't work, that is not free. That's very expensive. So this cursor rule is set up as always apply and it provides additional context or research guidelines on how to use EXA and REF. Specifically, it lays out a priority order. And the way I set it up is that it always prefers EXA for two reasons. Number one, EXA is good enough most of the times. And number two, EXA is way cheaper. <laughs> so here's how it works. It first prefers EXA overall and then calls a specific code context tool, which is relatively new and really good. Then and only then will it use the web search. And then finally, it can use REF in one of three cases. Number one, when explicitly requested by the user. So if I ask it to use ref, obviously do that. Number two, when the results from EXA contradict each other. And then number three is after two unsuccessful attempts to fix an external API or library where documentation changes are suspected due to model cutoff. 